What's up guys, it's 9 a.m. I'm off to the gym to do a recovery session. If you wanna see it, let's get to it. Alright, gym session is now done. Really good one, really worked up a sweat. Um, I This was the first time that I tried doing this ab workout the way that I did. And um, you'll see like the full thing, but I really liked that one. That was really good. Um, it added weight, which is essential whenever you're trying to make your ab muscles like deeper and uh, more defined, you gotta add weight to it. And it was really just an overall good burner. So. Hopefully you enjoyed watching that. I was able to film a lot more this time. Um, I'm finally getting used to like setting up the camera and everything, so hopefully you enjoyed that. But I'm gonna head home and cook me a lot of food right now because I'm starving. All right, I'm back home and I'm actually gonna do uh, my first training session before I eat just because I wanna go ahead and get that out of the way. Um, I'm gonna do my technical session again that I did in the last video, except this time. It's going to be like that and a lot of juggling. So for about an hour to an hour and a half, it's just going to be strictly juggling and one touch passing. Really work on my technical um, abilities and everything like that. Maybe work on a little freestyling as well. So I ain't going to show that because it's going to be boring, but um, that's what I'm going to go do right now. A few moments later. All right, that was a super good session. Um, I, my juggling record was 332 that i got in february it's like the last day of february so ever since then i've been trying to break it but i never could 
but today I actually broke it with 420. So I'm, I want my goal is to get to 500 juggles, but at least it's a start. 420. I'm only 80 away. So hopefully I can keep improving. Hopefully keep keep getting the juggles up higher and higher. So let's go eat. Okay, so I'm just out right now i'm about to go to uh mcdonald's to get some food and i know what y'all are thinking you're thinking that i'm going and i'm going to be eating a bunch of crap but there are healthy options that you can get there that are that are going to be pretty low in fat i always get the grilled chicken snack wrap so it's good protein and it's not fried so you're not getting all that nasty fat is it the best option probably not but it's really not gonna be that bad for you. But I gotta go finish running some errands, then I gotta go get the food, and then I'm gonna be home. day after the um, video release and you guys absolutely killed it. I was not expecting a big response like that um, for my first ever video, but you guys, all the comments, uh, subscription, support, everything, it means so much to me. Hopefully the videos will start getting better and better as I get used to it. Um, I've got some good content in mind for you guys and everything uh, that I've already got in the works right now. So. Hopefully you guys are enjoying it and will continue to enjoy it and new good content is going to be coming up. So I'm going to talk to you guys real quick today about the uh, title of the video, which is how to recover quicker in soccer. So basically whenever you're running around doing all this movements on the field, you're tearing your leg muscles apart, just like you'd be doing in uh, weightlifting, any type of weight training, any type of really any type of strenuous um, physical activity, your muscles tear. And whenever they rebuild over time, they become bigger, stronger. So the way that your muscles rebuild, some of the things that happen to help uh, rebuild the muscles is protein and oxygen. And our blood carries oxygen. So the number one way to kind of expedite um, the process of getting oxygen to the muscles to start the healing process a little bit quicker is any type of light activity that um, puts the blood circulation into that certain muscle group, which would be for us soccer players would be our legs. So the number one kind of exercise that pros use, um, pretty much everybody that I know that I use also, is to bike. Just go to the gym. Do You don't want to put it on a setting that's gonna be too hard because we're not trying to do uh, necessarily like high intensity cardio we're just trying to get the legs moving to where the blood flow will start moving into that part of your body that you're using to bring in the oxygen to help expedite the um, growth process of the muscles to help recover from the strenuous activity that you did the day before so after any type of big team training or game anything like that I always go to the gym and I do bike for uh, probably about 10 minutes on, I mean, everything's going to be a little bit different, but for me, um, I am on the second setting of the bike. So it's like not, it's adding a little bit of resistance, but it's barely any at all. And I'll just sit there nice, nice steady pace for about 10 minutes. And by the time I'm done, I can already feel the effects of the blood getting into the muscles. And usually within that afternoon, my legs feel so much better, so much lighter than they did before I did that. So that's just a quick little tip. Um, whenever you're trying to recover quick, you want to make sure you're eating lots of protein, carbs, drinking lots of water, and doing um, bike recovery in the gym. And any additional type of thing that you could do if you're having any type of soreness would be to stretch and foam roll. So those are my quick little tips. Doing these has completely changed the way I can train. Um, doing this allows me to train um, double the amount of what most people do every single day. And just working on these little recovery tips and tricks 
and implementing them into your workouts is com gonna completely change your your life. All right, so I'm out here training and I just realized I forgot the tripod, <laughs> which is great, but hopefully y'all don't mind seeing uh, my my session from a different point of view. It's gonna be down low, but oh well, at least y'all get to see uh, at least a brief little bit of what I'm doing. <laughs> Super good shooting session. I finished it off with just having some fun. And I was so mad because I scored, I turned the camera off. I was like, okay, this is it. And I scored five back to back. Worldy of goals, two crossbar and ends. But I didn't get it on camera, so you're gonna have to take my word for it. But they were nice, trust me. Let's go home and eat dinner. All right, it's about 10 at night. I'm starting to wind down just watching um, a USL game. I like to watch all the different leagues here in the US just because hopefully, who knows, I'll be able to play in one someday. And I just like to see all the different teams and everything, see how they look, learn the style of play, everything like that. But um, I'm gonna finish off today with getting in a protein shake and maybe some toast with some peanut butter. Something simple to get in some more protein and carbs. Um, just to finish getting the uh, calories in for today, but that's pretty much about it I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like comment and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one yeah.